late than never with technical difficulties is Roger Stone. Roger Stone, the consummate Trump insider, the man who has given us the most deadly accurate forecasting in the last 11 months on air. Become a good friend of mine. He's going to be down here in Austin the next few weeks, be in studio with us. We've only got him for this five minutes. The next five minutes, he's got to go. But he's promised to come back on later in the week for a full report. They have thrown the kitchen sink at Trump. Why? He talked to good-looking women when he was divorced. And he once told a girlfriend, you need to lose some weight. But she said that wasn't even true today on Fox. All lies from the New York Times, the same folks that told us Saddam had a nuclear reactor hidden under a rose bush. Remember that one? And the yellow cake and the aluminum tubes. Next, they're going to tell me that the moon is made of cheese. This is incredible. Roger Stone, they're throwing everything at him. It's so pathetic. Meanwhile, it came out two days ago that Clinton was flying around to the pedophile island with Mr. Epstein. This is incredible. Roger Stone, tell us about that and what else is on the radar. Uh Alex, great to be with you. Sorry about our uh, technological It's okay. Problems You're today. a sweetheart. You've got the floor. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, no, I think what we've now seen is part and parcel of the mainstream media onslaught that they intend to unload on Trump. Uh, what's outrageous, of course, is that they will not hold Bill and Hillary Clinton to the same standard that they're now trying to hold Donald Trump to. Uh, I know Michael Barbaro with the New York Times. I know him very well. Uh, but the problem with this story is obvious. Where is the counterbalancing story about Bill Clinton's behavior with women. I mean, at worst case, and there's been a lot of denials today, but worst case, Trump is guilty of boorish behavior. He never raped anybody. He never sexually assaulted anyone. He never bit anyone. Uh, he never sent anybody uh, to prison uh, because they saw him use drugs, because Trump has never used drugs. Uh, when are we going to use the same standard of measurement against uh, Bill Clinton uh, and his accessory after the fact in every one of his sex crimes uh, against, uh, you know, against uh, the Clintons? On, I guess it was Friday, Alex, the Daily Beast uh, launched a piece by Olivia Nuzzi, who I must tell you, in 30 years in American politics, almost 40, I have never met a more duplicitous or tricky or slippery, quote-unquote, journalist uh, other than uh, Ms. Nuzzi. She's very talented, but she's a knife artist. Uh, and she's superb at trying to pretend she's like your friend and she's sympathetic to your point of view uh, in order to collect information. But if you saw this piece leading the Daily Beast, it eviscerates, uh, unfairly, completely misrepresents my book, The Clinton's War on Women, a book that you can get right there at Infowars.com. This is the definitive book that Trump needs to defeat Hillary. He must it's go on the there. offense, as you said a year ago, and, and 11 months ago here, he said, this will be the attack he must launch with this intel now. Yeah, I mean, there's no question. If, if the mainstream media is allowed to define this issue as being about marital infidelity, or adultery, uh, or uh, girlfriends, or consensual sex, then the media figures, well, Clinton's had affairs, Trump's had affairs, it's a wash, Mexican standoff. The, the mainstream media, particularly CNN, resists a more truthful narrative, which is uh, that Bill Clinton is a sexual predator in the Bill Cosby style, uh, and that Hillary has intimidated, bullied, threatened his victims into silence. And that's why they is. openly have you banned on CNN, MSNBC, and so many other places. That's why I believe it sabotage you buy new computers. Suddenly they work, then they suddenly don't. You see people surfing around on your computer while you're on it. They want you shut off. You're under electronic warfare. And they're going to make jokes about that. These people have been caught at Facebook censoring conservatives across the board, except for Glenn Beck. <laughs> amazing, isn't it? Just amazing. Oh, that Lynn Beck is just an uh, folks. He is an operative, and I don't. And I'm not in competition with our host. I don't attack other hosts that I, that I disagree with, like you know Hannity sometimes or or or, or Limbaugh, because they're not operatives. They're not. Michael Savage is a great guy, by the way. He's a patriot. But, I mean, Glenn Beck is a Benedict Arnold. He is a sleeper cell. Back in 70 seconds, fourth hour with Roger Stone, David Knight coming up. Stay with us. Infowars.com. Well, they're trying to assassinate Trump's credibility in this pathetic 16-page article in the New York Times where they say once he told a girlfriend you should lose some weight. And then she went on TV this morning on Fox and said, I, I didn't even say that. They just lied. They're desperate. And then they had this fake lawsuit with a fake woman's name with, you know, him hanging out with the pedo. Turned out that was totally fake, as Stone said two weeks ago. They admit a hoax. 
everything Stone's written, they're basically trying to project onto Trump, which shows me again, Stone is totally on target. I've done my research. I knew Madeline, you know, the, the, the mistress of LBJ, all the folks. I mean, I've been on this. I, I've interviewed all the people that Clinton raped. Stone is saying exactly what's going on. And that's why they're scared. So tell us what else is coming, what else we can do. I know you're joining us Wednesday uh, for a full interview, Roger. Well, we both know Stone's rules. One of my principal rules, of course, is when you, when you can't rebut the message, destroy the messenger. That, that's why you see this vituperative attack on me, Alex on you. We're, we're kooks. We're conspiracy theorists. We're nuts. We're loony. Because we believe that herbs and supplements actually affect your your physical and mental performance. Boy, that really makes us kooky, doesn't it? Oh, they had a couple of uh, MSNBC all, shows, she shows about that. Yeah, that, that, that you like our, our, our nootropic. Yeah, I mean, the point here is an obvious one, which is uh, they're trying to discredit us because they cannot discredit the message. If they have some evidence that Juanita Broderick or Kathleen Willey or Paula Jones or Christy Zercher or Sandra Allen James or the dozens of other women assaulted by Bill are lying, then produce it. If you have some counter information that says that, that, that uh, brings their accounts into doubt, then produce it. They don't. He's guilty. In the 80s, the mainstream media did a very good job of suppressing this for the Clintons. And in those days, you only had to pressure ABC, NBC, and CBS. The, the cable networks were in their infancy at a minimum. So uh, today, it's much, more, it's much harder to get the toothpaste back in the tube. Thanks to Infowars.com and Breitbart and Daily Caller and Drudge. and all these other uh, viable, important conservative outlets, a Drudge a Report, uh, a Town Hall, the truth will not be suppressed in this election. I think that's a failing strategy. And, of course, Hillary herself says, Trump can say whatever he wants. I'm just not going to address that. Well, what is she going to say when the Brodericks and the Willies and these women who were cowed last time, who were squeezed last time and intimidated. Bullied. Is there any way... They're going to there... come forward this time. That's my belief. It's so obvious they're scared to death of you. They admit you're banned. I mean, because you're you're smart, you know the history, you're telling it like it is. They are scared of you. And obviously Trump listens to a lot of your advice. He's a smart guy at the same time. He should just be going 100% stone on them right now and just hit her with everything because she's running this thing and say, look, it's your husband that settles rape cases and bites women on the lip. I come up and tell women they're good looking, you know, when I'm in between marriages and go out with women. Big deal. Yeah, it is far more than her being an enabler. Uh, it is it is the fact, as I say, that she's an accessory after the fact. And it, it is Hillary who hires the heavy handed private detectives who uh, who break into people's homes and break their break, legs. Who, who, threaten their ch threaten their children, kill their pets, uh, slash their tires. Uh, uh, tell them that they're in danger. Constantly telling me, did you know you're in danger? The, the guy so, that videotaped yeah, Jennifer is, Flowers uh, got his legs broken. It is of the Gestapo tactics used by the Clintons, and people need to recognize the truth. That's right. I mean, you've you got a lot of courage. Remember the one guy in Clinton Chronicles that videotaped Bill going to Jennifer Flowers? They, the state police broke his legs. They did much worse than that. They lacerated his liver, his kidney, and his spleen. They crushed his nasal passages. They dislocated both his shoulders and both his elbows, and they left him for dead. Exactly. Those are the tactics of Bill and Hillary Clinton. That is what they're prepared to resort to in order to grab power and wealth. Uh, but the, the days of repression are over. The days that these people could be silenced through threats and through violence or through just a mainstream media blackouts, those days are over. The American people are going to hear... The true narrative here. Yeah, they're, they're scared of you because you got such courage. You are a maniac for freedom. I'm so proud to know you. Roger Stone, stonezone.com. Be with us Wednesday after you visit with folks in New York. I know you're about to go up there. Thank you so much, sir. The days of the Clintons' oppression and suppression are over. Thank you, sir. Glad to be here. Thousands of years ago, there was a basic form of chivalry. Our ancestors would hear the drums of war, giving the warriors of the tribe a chance to organize and prepare a defense. 
60 years ago, when foreign air forces were approaching filled with bombs, they had drums of their own, air raid sirens. But in the 21st century, there are silent weapons for quiet war. Pathogens added to the food and water and to the lining of plastics that destroy our vitality, turn off our hormones, and accelerate our journey towards death. I personally counter this onslaught with Anthroplex. Anthroplex is designed with known organic concentrated herbs to create the basic foundation to normal metabolic activity inside the human body. Discover why Anthroplex is turning so many heads today. It's time for us to take our bodies back into our own hands and it starts at InfoWarsLife.com with Anthroplex.